at least it's finally March. My name is Adam Green, and I'm glad this month is here because we're that much closer to this basketball season being resolved. Because at this point, all I really have left to focus on is the NCAA tournament and where the Wildcats will finish. Gone are hopes of winning the Pac-12, being swept in Los Angeles didn't help things, and long gone are any thoughts of this team doing damage in the postseason. Oh well. The Wildcats are now 23-6 with an 11-6 record in the Pac-12 and have dropped to 18th in the polls. It's easy to be down on them right now. Allowing USC, who admittedly is playing much better of late, to shoot 61% from the field is ridiculous. And falling behind against UCLA only to have to try and rally was, well, typical. But at least the Wildcats won't have to wear those god-awful uniforms in the postseason, right? Take that, UCLA. Now, there are two ways to look at the weekend. On one hand, the Wildcats, needing a pair of wins, were swept. They looked bad against USC and overmatched against UCLA. But on the other hand, Arizona's offense was again solid, and they had a chance to knock off the Bruins at the end. And really, isn't that all you can ask for on the road against a good team? Are you an optimist or a pessimist? An optimist looks at Kevin Parham's continued solid play, Caleb Tarzewski's development, and the re-emergence of Grant Jarrett and possibly Jordan Mays as reasons to be excited. A pessimist sees Solomon Hill disappear in another big game, the defense failed to come up with stops, and Mark Lyons getting outplayed at the point guard position again. So who is this team? Jay Billis noted it during the UCLA broadcast, and it's true. The Wildcats don't really have an identity. They are the team that went 12-0 in the non-conference slate, as well as the one that has gone 11-6 in the conference and lost four of its last seven games. They're still every bit as capable of making a deep postseason run as they are of being bounced in the first weekend. But as has been the case throughout the entire season, they'll only go as far as Lions takes them. As divisive a player as there has ever been to wear an Arizona uniform, Lions is not the point guard anyone wants. However, he is the point guard this team needs. One of the team's biggest issues is a lack of a go-to score, and for all of his talent, Hill doesn't have the killer instinct, Nick Johnson the consistency, or anyone else the experience. Lyons has the mentality to take over and the skill set with which to do so. And while he's frustrating to watch when shots aren't falling, Mark Lyons is a necessary evil who still may pay off in the end. And speaking of the end, it is indeed nigh. The regular season finale is Saturday in McHale Center as the Wildcats host rival Arizona State. Barring a Pac-12 tournament title, the Sun Devils are not going to be invited to the dance, meaning a win over Arizona would go a long way towards making them feel better about the season. Like the Wildcats, the Sun Devils have struggled of late, losing five of their last seven. But don't blame Super Frost Jahi Carson, because it's not his fault and you don't want his mom to be upset with you. The last time these teams played, the Wildcats won by a score of 71-54. Carrick Felix and Jordan Pajinski did not show up for the Devils, and Carson was in foul trouble most of the afternoon. Lions took advantage, and Arizona got solid efforts from Hill and Nick Johnson, too. Slow down Carson, or take away the Devils' other options, and Arizona wins this one handily. Let Carson dictate the tempo and get his teammates involved, and this will be a close one. No matter what, it'll be interesting to see what kind of Wildcats team shows up Saturday afternoon with where their season's at right now. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Cat Scan. For more on Arizona, you should check out Bearing Down with Adam and Jarrett, which is a podcast I host. If you want your quality of life to improve, I advise you to follow me on Twitter, at the Adam Green. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week, right here on ArizonaSports.com.